Right, let's have our allies take care of all of this. My vassal chief has embraced dangerous heresy. Let's engage him with the theological debate. Everyone, go fight my war. She's an amazing diplomat. She's not great at most things, but she's a really good diplomat. I'm not sure why she's looting armies, though. So none of our bishops are paying us. Let's change that a little bit. That's probably more than they are going to pay us ever. What the hell, everyone? Don't join on me. Ah, uh, fine. If you people insist. There they go. Finally. I can go back home. Right through war zone. My my. Alright, okay. A courtier of ours. We can give the siege information to. All right, okay, what's going on? We lost our marshal. Anybody strong who needs a position? No. Our commander is pretty well poised for it. Let's have this guy. He's going to love us for it. So he just goes train some troops. You maybe build our legend, why don't you? We need that legend built, man. Build it. No designated regent. Let's have it be our vassal who is so grateful to us. So, so grateful. Ever so grateful. But this revolt doesn't concern us. And she's slowly but surely working her way to victory. Okay, so the only tribe left on this island outside of us. Can we actually see this? We don't want cultures. Yeah, there we go. So beside us, only the Scottish are tribal on this island. So if we switch to feudal, it wouldn't be the worst. But if you look at the domination of tribal in this world. Still. Tribal is really, really strong. But we have so much income and everything. We could immediately build a second keep. Hmm. No, not yet. Not yet. I think we should take out the Picts first. And we should ensure that we have some heirs. And you stop leading troops now, please, and have a kid. God damn you, man. Alright, also we're going to stop being at war and we're going to focus on family. So we get the child and... Some good relations with the with the kin. Let's go and attend the King of Bavaria and King of Frest Frankia's coronation, which is funny by the way, because Bavaria over here 
for whatever reason. Very impressive ceremony. Yes, long live the king. I like that little sound blurb. Cute. Alright. They've killed exactly one man so far. Great. How's your war coming along? 89%. Almost there. You almost got it. Keep at it. I believe in you. Ah. I'm still envious because everyone gets a crown, but me. Yes, go find those artifact things. I mean, I could cancel the build, but it feels wrong. No, we are not. We're not going to go for war. To war for Aquitan? Uh, somewhere in Europe. Who cares? Probably a good idea to do all that, but I don't care about the score. I, I care about playing and having fun. There are two peasant families in Urmohain who have been locked in a bitter feud for generations. This conflict has now escalated to the point where it is even discussed in circles of nobility. Although this feud would normally be far beneath your notice, this could be a golden opportunity to practice your diplomacy. Let's uh, sponsor a meeting. And let's flatter them. My friends, I say, with as warm a smile I can muster, I think you know why I've called you great families here. As you suffer from this tragic conflict, the entire realm suffers with you. Soothe their tempers. In a firm but kind voice, I say, many of you are angry, I know. You have every reason to be. Too much blood has been spilled between your families for things to be smoothed over. But there comes a time when one has to look to the future. Let's threaten them with violence, because that sounds great. For dramatic effect, you pull out a dagger and stab it into the table with all my might. Because if you do not, I can assure you that there will be no future for your families. I will personally hunt down every single one of you and make sure that the peasants shout you down. <laughs> well, I barely have time to dodge the chicken someone hurls at my way. When they howl, the two families leap, <laughs> leap over the tables and throw themselves at each other, with me caught in the middle. Clothes torn and covered in bruises, I eventually manage to crawl out of the inn as the fighting continues. Well, I get a whole diplomacy out of that. Totally worth it. Now, where's my child, wife? I know you're a giant, but... Are you joking? You do not gain a chiefdom. This greed does not become you, woman. Oh, there you Okay, well. She now holds a significant portion of what I own. What is Ireland? Um, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. Just a little bit. Could create the Duchy of York over there. Let's see what other claims can be pressed around in this world. Nothing of uh, note. I think it's time to go feudal. The Picts are not going to be a threat. 
Oh no, the Picts are going to be a threat. Most definitely a threat. A truce with him for four years. Right, time for our vassals to do their job again. We'll just bring our troops over there. There's love in the air between my wife and me, which hopefully increases our odds of having a child. Oh, goddamn. There were some more troops put up and they went right in my way. Or I ran into some different uprising. Who knows these days? Stuart Urgo says, no, 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 Yeah, let's, let's get the artifact. We're going to... We have been trying for years now to get it. All right. Uh, there are some army. Some troops. What can we do with you? And force him to become our vassal. Would you like to be? No. Well then, let's put those warriors to good use. Let's them fight our war. With our retinue and our warriors leading it. A siege guy in the middle. That's not going too well for you, is it? Oh, finally. A concubine is pregnant, which immediately means every other concubine gets thrown out. Let's have a become... No. Uh, set her aside. And set her aside as well. And once she's done with the pregnancy, she's going to be set aside as well. Thank you for playing, my friend. And thus, Ireland is threatening again. Oh, well. Yeah, you can have my concubine, sure. Could have a holy war for this. Sure. Why not? Let's go to holy war for this. And all the good Irishmen shall join as it behooves them. Why can't I move my troops? I'd like to move them here. Yes, to where the war is, ideally. Thank you. That was very, very gracious of you to allow me to move my troops where I need them to move. Let's have someone with a large blue flag hunt them down so we don't have to. Mr. Large Blue Flag? No, that not that one, the other one. This one. Go hunt. Is your job. All the victory left and right. 
Let's get some more victory. Ah, a son. Son of a concubine, but no. He shall be named after his grandfather. Tinfarch? Ah, after his father. Fly three. Good. Concubine. Set aside. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for your service. The realm appreciates it. Right, there we go. That holy war is done as well. And Ireland is now connected. Send our troops home. And since this is a holy war thing, we now need to deal with this. Let's create some lower level vassals. Because we definitely don't want to have these. And... Who do you belong to? You belong to Gwynit, which doesn't exist. Let's create Gwynit. Which costs us a little bit of gold, but we got it. We can deal with that. Now that we have created this, let's find some worthy courtier. Let's see, maybe someone on my council. Him, our chancellor. Because why not? So, ah, let's give it to someone in our dynasty, eh? Alright, you. Are you good at anything? Well, you're just... Now, don't we have any, any closer relatives who are deserving? Siblings. Oh, no, that's not my siblings. Um, How are those not my siblings? My half-brother, okay. Well, why not give it to our son, honestly? Let's give it to our son. Rose. Did I just overrule my council? Yes, I did. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that... That is what happens when you don't read. That is definitely what happens if you do not read. Now, I don't want to revoke it. I want to give him everything else to... Ah, okay. Now. Oh boy. I messed up. Alright. So, our son. I messed up really, really, really badly. Oh god. So, let's... Get a marriage out because he's going to have a lord, an overlord, and those overlords can kind of... Since he's a ruler himself now, there's a lot of things I can't decide anymore for him. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's have her. She seems nice. Ah. Uh. Let's see. So many people in my dungeon. Let's see. So, can't I? What is this all? Is this everyone? In my room. That can't be it. What? Right, there we go. Now oh, let's see. There's definitely some bloodline people who still need a ruler ship. Probably turn this around.
I don't think I can actually search for my family because, well, I can't type this. He's gregarious, arbitrary, let's give him this. He's also a steward somewhere. Why is everyone so against everything I'd like to do? Oh boy. Oh, it's not going to break our back in the end. We'll deal with it. We will. The Germanic Reformation. Well, they have reformed their faith. I kind of want to become feudal. But I also kind of fear what's going to happen to me if I do. <laughs> Oof. Honestly, let's and explore what happens with the next few. All right, let's take care of everything up here and some plots. Imprison some people. Can't we revoke his title? Yeah, let's imprison it first. Definitely going to war for it. Ah, oh, well. Right, so. Raising our own levies, it should be enough. Take care of this. So I have too many holdings. My demands is now too big. Which is okay. We could go ahead. I oh, don't know, we have new realm laws. Can't change anything right now. We need to be crowned. But we need to be at peace. Lots of things we need to be and do. 